Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I want to do our very first trailer analysis for our very first official first party Sony PlayStation Virtual Reality 2 exclusive ground up title. It's a mouthful but it's exciting I promise. Horizon Call to the Mountain. So there's two things I want to look at here. There's going to be a blog post from Sony themselves and then there's going to be the trailer that I want to go into in more detail also. So hopefully we'll learn a little bit more about this title even though they've just given us a little sliver so there's not too much to go on but there is enough that you know might be interesting to take a look at. So let's jump first into the blog post. So Horizon Call of the Mountain revealed for PlayStation VR 2. And this is from studio director and studio art and animation director of Gorilla, Jan Bart Van Beek. I can't highlight the name, but it, yeah, I could be saying it wrong. Maybe it's Jan Bart. Anyway, with only a few more weeks to go until Horizon Forbidden West, we're thrilled to reveal that we'll soon be journeying back into the wilds in a brand new adventure with Horizon Call of the Mountain. Created for PlayStation Virtual Reality 2, this unique experience will be designed to push hardware technology, innovation and gameplay. The stunning visuals and brand new PlayStation VR 2 Sense controllers give a new meaning to being fully immersed into the world of Horizon. We don't want to reveal too much just yet, but this story will be told through the eyes of an entirely new character. So that's important, that's something we were wondering. Would it be Aloy? No, it will not be Aloy, it will be a brand new character. You will also meet Aloy other familiar faces and new characters along the way. So even though we're not going to be controlling Aloy, we will be meeting Aloy in the story. And we'll be introducing you to the protagonist of Horizon Call of the Mountain soon. Horizon Call of the Mountain has been proudly developed with the team at Fire Sprite, and we'll soon be revealing more about what you can expect from the game. Until then, check out the teaser trailer, which is exactly what we're going to do. But the interesting things to take away from this blog post is that the protagonist is a brand new character and that Aloy will feature in the plot somehow, so that will give us a sense of not only that it's not Aloy we're controlling of, but maybe the time period, will it run alongside the events of Horizon Forbidden West? Will this character that we're controlling in Horizon Call of the Mountain be like a side character in Horizon Forbidden West? Will their tales like intertwine? That could be very cool if that's what they're doing. And seeing as they're in development alongside each other, it seems like, you know, that's ripe for an opportunity like that where you can tell like interweaving stories together. So we'll have to wait and see, obviously. But let's take a look at that teaser trailer and see if we can get any clues or hints or whatnot. Okay, so the trailer is going to open with the uh, director as Gorilla doing a bit of talking, so we might skip past that and just go straight into the actual glimpse of gameplay that we get, or in-game footage at least, I should say. So let's just play through it once, and then we'll start going in a bit deeper. And there you have it, Horizon Call of the Mountain. Now that really was a teaser. Very, very limited information to go by here, but more than nothing. So we'll start here. I wonder if I can adjust the play speed. Okay, let's see if that works. So the first thing to notice there is that this gentleman, whoever he is, lifts like a bag or a sack over presumably the main character's head. So I'm just gonna go by the assumption that we're looking through the eyes of the main character. I think that makes the most sense since it's a virtual reality game. It's probably gonna be in first person the whole game, if I had to imagine. So yeah, the first little teaser of a story here is that maybe your character has been captured by this fella and his accomplice over here. You can see this lady in the background. Now, another thing you might want to note about the world of Horizon is that this world is made up of a bunch of tribes and each tribe has their own unique visual identity. So I was hoping I could look at this guy's outfit and his companion's outfit as well and kind of see, figure out, you know, what tribe does this guy belong to. I'm not really happy with the results I got. The closest thing I got was this concept art here that I'm going to pop up on the screen of a Shadow Karja. But I get the feeling that maybe he's going to be part of like a new tribe that will be revealed in Forbidden West. That's my guess. Another thing to notice is that he doesn't seem too hostile. So maybe even though he's got a bag in your head and he's lifting it off, maybe he's not an enemy. So I'm just going to continue playing on. 
Next up, we get a look at a tall neck. Now, a tall neck doesn't narrow anything down because it, it seems that these things are like, you know, prevalent throughout the entire world in Horizon Zero Dawn or Hori the Horizon world, I should say. Also, we've got this lush jungle environment. Doesn't really narrow anything else down either. We've seen these, I mean, those lush jungles in the first Horizon and there will be lush jungles in Horizon Forbidden West. So it's hard to say if this game is going to be set in, you know, the, the map of Horizon Zero Dawn or the map of Forbidden West, or maybe it will be its own entirely new, unique location made just for this game and of course the tall neck is an excellent machine to show off in terms of the sense of scale it's one of the biggest machines in the entire game so obviously you're going to have this big wow moment when you see your first tall neck and you're looking up and your neck is going to be sore looking up at this thing because it's massive so it sounds like the protagonist but i'm not too sure says what's that tall neck doing now it could be the lady who's with them but i think it's the protagonist and then he says it's heading towards i think Sterna's grasp is what he's saying i'm not too sure about that maybe it's Stenna's grasp or some other kind of grasp but definitely something grasp so i took that name i googled it didn't pop up on anything i looked at the map of the first game i went and looked at all the like the named locations i couldn't see anything called anything grasp so i don't think this is going to be set in the map of the first game Maybe Forbidden West is going to have a place called Sterner's Grasp or something like that, so maybe that's where it's going. And then I think the other lady who's rowing at the front is the one who's saying it's heading towards us. And then there's kind of like, you know, a bit of action. They're obviously on a, a canoe or a boat of some kind going down this little stream take a look at these water effects here as the foot splashes down it's actually pretty impressive looking and i should have pointed out earlier on as well if we go back and touch maybe not that far back but you can see on the bottom of the screen here that this is captured on ps5 game in development final content may differ but the fact that it says captured on ps5 is like fantastic you know this is actually what it's going to look like probably most likely obviously everything's subject to change as they say themselves but you know just look at how much detail is on the screen at any one point here and this is all running on a ps5 obviously within the viewer headset and then the trailer just ends as this big large foot just passes over their heads and we get the title reveal horizon vr there is a little vr although i don't think they mention it in the actual official title uh, Call of the Mountain. Now, of course, the title itself is going to be a bit of a clue. Call of the Mountain, what does that mean? What is the mountain? Again, I think this is something that we're not going to be really able to speculate too much on that until we get more of a bigger picture onto what this game is actually going to be about. So we need to wait for more information, another trailer, uh, you know, maybe E3 or something like that, where they go into more depth and detail about this. So that's all I've got so far. Not much, you know, slim pickings. But uh, it really was just a, the briefest of teasers, so there's not much I can do with that. Hopefully we'll start seeing more trailers for more first-party Sony games and whatnot. And uh, I will continue to analyze these, and I will continue to follow Horizon Call of the Mountain also. So if you like that, give the video a like, maybe subscribe to the channel, etc, etc. Excuse that bed in the background. I don't, don't tell anyone I live like this, okay? And thank you for watching this vid. Before I go, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check him out, Decepticon.com, link in the description. And with that, I'll end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay nice and moist. Petrifying pumpkin.